All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started putting the front end on this truck. Got the fan shroud just sitting in there ready to go. Had to take an inch off all the way around to give me enough clearance in there after everything gets buckled in. Radiator sport painted up ready. Got all my brackets on the side so I can get the fan shroud mounted up. Both fenders, body work's done, got them in epoxy. Everything's good on that. There's my two inner fenders, ready to go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and keep everything loose for now until I get this radiator support on the front. i got a bolt down on the bottom, of course two here. And I'm going to go ahead and do this side the same way. i got two long studs that ran all the way through and held that fuse box in, which are right up here. So I'll go and put my inner fender on first, then I'll mount the fuse box from the back. So start this side. Alright, I got my inner fenders loose up top. I got some shims kind of bringing them over a little bit so this radiator support to go in and fit in here a lot easier. Went on to drill me some extra holes across the bottom here to let this water get out so it won't rust the next time as bad. So we'll see what happens. Now I got all my hardware here for the radiator support, so uh, we'll get that hooked up. Okay, what I went on and did, found my center of the radiator support. So I got a mark right there. Before I tighten anything up, I'm going to go ahead and get these inner fenders tightened up against this radiator support all the way down. Snug them on in, both sides. Then uh, I'll still be able to move this right here. Still got them bolts loose. So let me go ahead and tighten these inner fenders against this radiator sport.
All right, I got the inner fenders tightened into the radiator support. Everything's still loose on the bottom. I got to come over about a quarter inch, then I'll nail it or I'll tighten the bolts up and get these outside fenders on. Go from there. Okay, after getting this radiator support slid over about a half inch, looking pretty good right here. Tighten the bolts up. I still got them loose right there. I'm going to go ahead and start with that left fender. Okay, got this fender on, bolted up. Ain't looking too bad. I can do a little adjustment on it later on if I decide to do body work and paint. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and get started on the passenger side. Here we go. All right, got the passenger side fender on there, bolted up. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this radiator. I'm going to go and put my bracket on there, bend this felt around, go up under the radiator, bolt it into the side bracket here and get started on that. All right, what I did, I went on and ordered a couple extra radiator cushions that mount, like on this bracket here, the upper radiator, and I'm filling in this space right here with it, just like I did my red truck, and I'll run me two screws right there, because you can see there's a gap over here, and I'll just put it on down in there, screw them in and be done. There's probably something for that, but I don't know if these work. Then I'll take this conveyor belt that I cut. I got to cut it down a little bit, tuck it behind the radiator right there, Get it all set up, then put this bracket on, tighten it up, and I should be good to go. All right, I went on and stayed out here a little bit longer last night. Went on and took the front bumper off so I can get this grill support on here. Everything worked out pretty good on the radiator. I went on and fired it up, backed it up, brought it back in. So we're going to go ahead and get this front end on here. All right, now like I did my red truck, I put this on first. Then I put the fenders on last. It kept from scarring everything up on the sides. But we're going to be alright on this one.
plate. Here's the front end. Everything worked out pretty good. I got a smaller tire on this side. The other one had a bad leak, so I had to change it out. Inner fenders worked out pretty good, except I come out, come up a half inch short right here where it mounts against the radiator support, but it worked out. The other side was fine. Still got to get my hood hinges on. Go ahead and get my wiring run for my lights. Go with it from there. I went on and put new cab mounts on it too, all the way around. So that lines everything up. Light. I'm going to leave it at that. Y'all take it easy.